not only one, two, but there are seven RBI governors who resigned before their tenure ended. आप सोच रहे होंगे यार आरबीआई गवर्नर बनने के बाद रिजाइन कौन करता है मतलब कौन उस पोस्ट को छोड़ना चाहेगा यहाँ पर आरबीआई ग्रेड भी बनने के लिए इतना स्ट्रगल है बट देर आर रीजन बिहाइंड इट फर्स्ट लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट आर द रोल्स एंड रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज ऑफ गवर्नर बिकॉज गवर्नर इज लीडिंग द इंस्टीट्यूशन रोल ऑफ आर गवर्नर बिकम वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज आर इज देयर टू सिक्योर द मॉनिटरी स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ द कंट्री रिसेंटली यू मस्ट है सीन that suddenly rbi increased the repo rate because the inflation has been rising it may not be going well with the government but but it is important for the nation otherwise we have also seen several nations where the rising inflation has caused disaster the recent example is our neighbor sri lanka kya ho raha hai wahan pe therefore there are times when there are conflicts between the role rbi plays and what government of india expect though the governor is again appointed by government but the mandate for rbi at times goes slightly in different way so i am starting with the first governor of rbi sir osborne smith so this conflict of interest between between rbi the central bank and government of india is not new it is from the very beginning and because there has to be there has to be some conflict that's why the central bank is not a department in the ministry of finance and you know he he became rbi governor in 1935 first rbi governor so in 1937 he quit though the exact reason has not been mentioned anywhere but he quit before his tenure and it is said that there were differences with the finance minister of viceroy's council that time it used to be viceroy it is pre independence time and from the exam perspective here you will realize the question which can come in the exam is who was the first governor of rbi when rbi was established i just told you first governor 35 so rbi established in 1935 first of the april sir osborne smith he got lot of applause for his leadership at rbi but it didn't well it didn't went well with the government he resigned before the tenure the second governor who resigned before his tenure is b r rao bengal rama rao he resigned in 1957 so he was governor at the time of rbi's nationalization you got another exam question here when did rbi got nationalized it was in 1949 the act was of 1948 mr b r rao he was at odds with then finance minister t t krishnamachari Finance Minister criticized RBI Governor in front of the entire cabinet. Though he was governor from 49 to 57, but he resigned just before his tenure was getting to be over because he saw it is going to dilute the reputation of the RBI Governor. And Mr. B. R. Rao was the person who served RBI Governor for the long, longest tenure from 1949 to 57. The third in this series is Mr S Jagannathan who officially resigned one month before his tenure was getting completed and then he became executive director with IMF many other governors also were with IMF prior to being governor or after being governor of RBI and in case of Mr Jagannathan it was said that there was difference with the government of India with respect to the credit limit of Maruti yeah we are talking about the Maruti now Suzuki so uh, Maruti had been a pioneer in terms of making cars available in india to to everyone but those were the time when rbi used to set the credit limit of the big corporate it looks strange today why rbi will be interfering in the credit limit it has to be a bank decision but that time there was so much deficit of money in the country that the higher loan size the final approval used to come from the rbi as jagannathan played very active role in the nationalization of the private bank you know nationalization happened in 1969 the fourth name the fourth governor who quit before his tenure is mr k r puri who served as the rbi governor from 1975 to 1977 and that was the time regional rural banks were established remember the first rrb it was created on 2nd october 1975 the rrb act is of 1976 but indira gandhi was the prime minister and she asked 
to pass an ordinance so that first RRB can be established on the Gandhi Jayanti 2nd October name of the first RRB Pratima Bank but coming to the resignation of Mr. K. R. Puri he was removed from the post of governor because Janta Party government came that time. It is also said that there were again differences with the Bharti credit limit but the change of the government was the main reason for Mr. K. R. Puri leaving the post of RBI governor and the next name in this series is R. N. Malhotra a very renowned person among the RBI governors and he was also appointed twice 1985 and then in 1988 you must also be knowing that normally the tenure of RBI governor is of three years but many a times it is extended for another two years and these can be exam questions Mr. Anand Malhotra he was awarded Padma Bhushan but in the end of his tenure he has differences with that time finance minister Mr. Yashwan Sina and this is again Janta Party government therefore he resigned before his tenure end and you will be surprised to know Biman Jalan is the other name yeah so and then the reason here is very different so he also resigned before his tenure was over Dr. Bimal Jalan had been very very instrumental in bringing so many reforms in RBI and always in good terms with the government. He got a Rajya Sabha seat. During the time of uh, Prime Ministership of Mr. Vaspayee, he was appointed as Rajya Sabha member. Therefore, he left RBI before his tenure was over. So, he became the sixth name in the series. Then the last name here is Dr. Urjit Patel, who is the recent one and you must have seen after he left, there came demonetization and again lot of talks started happening about the independence of RBI. In 2016, he was appointed as governor and 2018, he quit. He, he of course cited the personal reason. So understand, at the top level, there is no point saying and arguing beyond a point. But we all know that there were lot of differences with the government of India. And you must also be thinking now, what about Dr. Raghuram Rajan? who always has lot many differences with the government, especially the NDA government. And he still keep on writing about, about various policies where there are differences with the government. He is a professor in the University of Chicago. But I am not writing his name in these seven list because he completed his tenure. He completed it three years. He would have got two years. But before the extension was decided by the government, he said that I am leaving, I am going to the university for teaching because I like teaching. The one lesson what we learn from this is RBI as an institution is so strong that time and again when it came, governors gave priority to their duties over holding the post. And that is how RBI is keeping its institutional prestige so high. And the recent one you must have observed repo rate hike when it was not expected. We will keep updating you with all such interesting stories about RBI and also how it will help you in your preparation. If you have any suggestions, please write to us in the comment or you can also write to us at our email hello at the red Don't forget to subscribe the channel. Thank you.